<laughs> Good evening. Today is Wednesday, July 6th. This is vlog number 18. A um, few things to talk about, but um, I'm going to keep today nice and short and sweet. Most of the day, I... <laughs> I spent the day cleaning, but uh, I wanted to go out and enjoy the evening. Um, not too much has gone on, really, since the uh, the dirt fest that we did last Sunday. That was really fun. I didn't really get to go out on the bikes or the side-by-side -side during the day, because I was doing all the camera work. But uh, I did get to try out the CRF 230M afterwards. And... Um, it's got a different kind of a feel. I'm more confident to ride dirt bikes now. I'm still more comfortable on my Harley Street, mind you. But you know what? You never know. <laughs> my husband keeps making fun of me about saying it is what it is. I never realized I was tying it um, until I was doing it. So he keeps pointing it out to me now. It must be a Northern Ontario thing. Because I've only heard Northerners do this, say it, and on other Northern Ontario vloggers, they say it too. So, it is what it is. <laughs> um, nothing new on the employment front. Uh, I'll just kind of leave that as it is. Uh, I'm working on getting myself set up as a virtual assistant and do computer tech support, but since the start of this week I really haven't done a whole month a whole lot really so I did get a few items to uh, start motor vlogging with and I'll kind of talk about that uh, first off I was able to get a Bluetooth intercom system so when me and Rick who's over there <laughs> hiding out of the camera frame the banter, the banter begins. We can talk back and forth while he's on his Iron 883 and I'm on my Harley Street. We can actually communicate with each other and it made the uh, the ride that much more interesting and entertaining. I really must say, if you've never used a Bluetooth communication system between riders or with your passenger, by all means, you know, try it. Stay what? Away from porcupines. <laughs> Stay away from porcupines. He almost went flat tracking in his on his Harley. So, what I purchased since I'm on a budget right now, I found this little unit right here. It's a Bi E Bluetooth intercom system from rider to rider, and actually, I'm quite impressed. Um, basically, what it is is a uh, 800 meters between riders. And it did work. Uh, I would say it was about a kilometer between us. At, yeah, where it started to fade out was about a kilometer. And it does have Bluetooth. Uh, you can do it with your phone as well or between riders. It does have FM radio. So, And basically, this is your phone call. This is your power button and your volume switch. And it's very, very simple. And it, and it works. I was quite impressed. It was very, very clear. Um, the only complaint that I do have is that it's very hard to initially get it to pair between units, but once you do get it set up, it actually has no issues whatsoever. And you can actually do up to three of these units on one network. And I believe it said it had the mesh network too. So. If one person, one rider goes out of range and it comes back in, it automatically connects, which is really, really nice. So I will leave the link for that, this particular unit here. I did get it from Amazon. I will leave the link for that in the description for this video. This, for two of them, was $139 Canadian for two. So, very, very reasonable, and especially if you're on a budget, uh, I'm not going to complain. Um, the Senna unit that is comparable, I would say, would be the Senna um, 5, 5S, 10, or 5S or the, the 10 version of this, one of them. 
and that you're looking at for two is about four hundred and fifty dollars so yeah so for the price I have no complaints whatsoever I like I said I will leave the link to this item on Amazon in the description for this video so I'm gonna put this over here I didn't show my helmet because it's all black and you wouldn't have seen it anyways what I do plan on doing, and I've already got the paint pens, is all the little lines and crevices on mine just to create a little bit more visibility for myself. I'm going to go through and with a paint pen, uh, trace the lines in white. I also have a silver one too, unless Rick decides he's going to do it for me and then I don't get a choice <laughs> what it looks like. <laughs> no, I'm not putting a pink unicorn on my helmet. I might put a dragonfly on my helmet. They seem to like me for whatever reason. I they can. <laughs> Every time we're out, I get swarmed by um, by dragonflies, and one was even biting me inside my helmet for whatever reason. So they seem to like me. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is I've been promising all of you moto vlogs, like real moto vlogs. Because of my employment situation and financials, I haven't been able to get the cameras that I wanted the GoPros. However, what I have been able to do is I've ordered a um, GoPro Hero 4 Session camera from the local source. And they'll be bringing that in for me in the next couple days. In Canada, those run about $279. And what I was able to do was um, also from Amazon. I uh, found a GoPro Hero 4, uh, 4 Session, um, basically a knockoff. Um, the reviews that I've seen on it, basically it's the exact same camera, just not with the GoPro name on it. And I'll leave the um, link to that particular camera in that in the description below as well. So I'll be able to start doing moto vlogs, and one of the things that I plan on doing is I'll be using the actual big camera on my uh, for myself, but I'll probably more than likely put the Hero 4 session on Rick's helmet. So <laughs> I might regret that, but um, he'll be using that, so I'll be able to get video from him, especially when he's going dirt biking. I'll be able to actually see what he sees too, because that's one of the things I haven't been able to do, because we only have one dirt bike. It's called yeah. <laughs> yeah, bears. That's one of the things around here that kind of scare me, in running into one of those in the bush. Apparently, uh, many years ago, when Rick was a teenager, when he went camping and was driving through the bush on his bike at the time, he ran into a mother bear and two cubs and it took a swipe at his head for I don't know how you did that wrecked his, wrecked his helmet went right across here but uh, he was able to within one motion pick up his bike and flip it the 90 actually 180 degrees and kept on going without never stalling, never stalling. so he's definitely got some skills that way so I'll have to be able to learn from him a little bit more when it comes to that. Uh, another thing that I did um, order for the bikes, which I don't know if I'm going to get anytime soon due to the Canada Post uh, lockout that's looming. It's probably going to happen Friday at the earliest. Is I did get some cell phone uh, handlebar mounts, uh, RAM mounts, for one for mine and one for Rick's bike. And we'll see how those that goes. I'll give a review on that when they come in, how they how they function, whatnot. I don't know when I'm gonna get them. They were supposed to be here today, yeah, according to Amazon. They haven't even shipped yet, so who knows? I'll leave all the links for all of the things that I'm talking about in this video. So, with that being said. Um, the, what I'm going to leave you with tonight, uh, I'll leave you some footage of a red-headed woodpecker, a crazy bird, oh my god, it's decided it's going to use our chimney as a um, temper tantrum place. Yeah, it's not a temper tantrum, it's just 
Yeah, it's a fledgling that just got kicked out of the nest. Mad at mom, and it's doing its whole woodpecker head bouncing thing. Not on a tree, but on the metal top piece for my chimney. Yeah, the cap for the chimney, and I'll leave you with footage of that. It's, yeah, he's done it so much today that uh, he did leave a hole in the actual metal. He's been here about 10 times today, I swear, coming back and forth, and it's actually getting kind of funny. It's a temper tantrum, a bird temper tantrum. So, on that note, I'll leave you with that video. In the meantime, I want to say that if you like these videos, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you don't like them, you know, try not to dislike them. But uh, if you do, please let me know why so that I can uh, work on getting those, you know, these better. Uh, I'm learning new things every day. And with the cameras that I do have coming, I'll be able to make better videos. I'm not responsible for anything I do. Yes, you are. <laughs> He says he's not responsible for what he does. So, yes, he is. So, leave me a comment if you like these videos. Please share them. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, leave me a thumbs up. I want to hear from you guys. Uh, let's start the community dialogue going. And until then, everybody stay safe out there. Ride safe. And it is what it is. I got a woodpecker trying to find bugs in my chimney thinking it's a tree. Can't get any closer. is eating me. Stop eating me. I said stop eating me. I said stop eating me. He's eating my phone now. <laughs> I said stop eating me. <laughs> <coughs> Like, no. I said, stop eating. Oh, come on. <laughs> He's got my foot now. Petting the puppy. No. 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 <laughs> Hi, everybody. I likes eating. <laughs>